Hello everyone, I hope you still remember our filming with this lovely old camera from the 1920s in Berlin last summer. In the meantime, we could develop and digitalize the film materials and there is really something to see on it. But first, we will visit Dagi Brundert in her dark room in Berlin. Hello and welcome in my dark room. This is where the magic happens. This is where I developed Raff's double eight film, double eight Kodachrome film. Here in this tank, it's called the Lomo tank or the Russian tank because it was produced in the Soviet Union and the re actually in the Ukraine. This is cool for eight millimeter, 16 millimeter and even 35 millimeter. Very, very practical, uh, super cool developer tank. I used this universal developer called Rodinal. Rodinal is a soft and uh, soft grainy developer. It's very, very friendly with Kodachrome. This film became, became very beautiful because um, for one, number one, he was lucky and got a good Kodachrome which was kept in, in not too much uh, Temperaturschwankung, change of temperature, but just because no film likes temperatures. Um, <laughs> Schwankung, ups and downs. Secondly, um, probably because I know how to develop. Third is because magic. And number four, Kodachrome is a very, very friendly and forgiving film. It's actually a black and white film. You might think, okay, no, Kodachrome is a color film. Yeah, but actually it consists of three different black and white layers, which have to be, um, while developing, have to be developed each one with another chemical soup with the color inside. So color comes while developing. And not, not only color in the, in the developing soups, but also you need to, you need to, uh, to give it a second exposure to light three times with three diff through three different filters. So all this Kodachrome stuff is absolutely complicated. I can't do it here. I developed this Kodachrome film in black and white negative. And the result is just fantastic. Viele Grüße, eure Dagi. Why does a, a film getting, uh, the film speed is getting less on an old film with aging? The speed of the film, it is the sensitivity. It's, get, it, it's getting less and less. And you say one stop less for each decade, I think you say. It is because of decaying of the silver salts. It's just, it's physical, it's chemical. They are just decaying. And so they don't react to the light so much anymore. Silver halides, silver halide, the salts inside the film, they decay and you need more power to make them, to activate them. As it is a really old film inside, we overexpose. Let's try 5.6 once. And once on eight. We are now in shadow and it shows with 16 frames per second an exposure of 8, which means with this old film we take uh, 5.6 and 4 to test. So we are measuring the light here. There we go. Yeah. So we are doing 4. Yeah, 4. How can you influence by developing how the image is in the end, how there is the contrast somehow? Uh, there's not so much range that I can do. I mean, I can over develop. The longer or the warmer I develop, the blacker the negative gets. So, uh, but you, I don't know what you film. So I just take the, the, like the medium average developing recipe but if you if you told me for example oh i think this film is totally let's say overexposed so i could develop it like one or two minutes less that's what i can do so i can by time and by temperature i have influence on the film i heard the rumor that um, some uh, bigger laboratories don't want to develop old films anymore because they ruin their baths 
Is it exactly. True? You heard that rumor from re- me, probably. And it's okay. not a rumor. It's cool. So ask any lab. That, I mean, there are not many labs anymore. We're talking about, about Andek in Berlin, for example, and they refuse because they have large machines with, I don't know, how many hectoliters of chemicals inside. And if, you, if they have like one film that's that which the, the layers fall off. And this happens very often, especially with color films. You get some, I mean, I had it once that it, it's like a gelatin. The gelatin is broken and it's decaying. And if you develop it too warm or if the film is too old, all the gelatin falls off and it looks like bleeding. And of course, if it bleeds into the developer, the developer is ruined. I don't care. I just develop all each film hand by hand, one by one. So if it falls, if the bloody stuff falls into the developer, okay, one liter is ruined, but it doesn't matter. But if it, if it, well, you can imagine if you have a tank full like this gigantic, and you have this also the ramjet shit that's that's falling off the film, maybe while fixing, maybe while developing, it's all off filled with flakes of ramjet, and it passes on to the next film, so it can't do it. If you do it professional, like like these labs. No way. So they will refuse all old films. They could, they could develop it. They could, of course, put the Kodachromes into their regular uh, black and white developing, but they don't. They don't do it. Never. So it's a problem of uh, the degrading of the film, not of the exactly. old kind of film. No, it's or... of the degrading, exactly. Mm. It's of the parts of the film falling off. Next time, we will visit the Lichtspiel Cinematheque of Bern where they could digitalize the film materials so we can compare them directly to the recordings Karl Ulrich Schnabel did in the early 1930s.